the most unscrupulous car park in probably England. You're just going to get ripped off. White Moss Car Park. We've printed some signs, which Neil has um, laminated. Neil, you keep on talking. I Let's know. go. We've got Let's a minute. Go. We haven't. See this line here? This line. Once we get over that line, we are in the car park. White Moss Car Park. Basically ripping people off massively. So the problem we've got now is we need to go in there. That's the first problem. The time on the clock is now 2.37. We're going to go in, we're going to buy a ticket. That's where the problem starts. We're not buying a ticket. I have not gone over the line, yeah? What we're going to do is, Emma's going to go down and buy a ticket first. Left so, first. Emma's gone to buy a ticket. Why she's gone to buy a ticket before we even enter the car park? But two hours, five pound. Yeah? Right, so the other machines aren't working. So we've tried to use them. And there's the AMPR camera. It's right up there. Now, the problem with this car park is that the minute that you drive your car over that bollard up there, over the end part, the AMPR gets your registration. Now, we've looked into this and we've seen plenty of people on Google, there's been plenty of people on TripAdvisor. The minute you drive into this car park, you are being charged. This car park is ripping people off. Right, so you pull in, you get caught on camera, yes? Yeah? So you go and park up, takes you a couple of minutes to get out. Now, when you go over there, there's three machines. Guess how many of those machines are working? One. Now, I saw that that was happening in a post from about 2019 that someone had posted about this place. So it's now 2022 and oh, there's still only one machine working. This problem has been going on since around about 2015 as well. And up until yesterday, which is when Emma seen the post on Facebook of someone actually getting ripped sent off by them. Sent a penalty them. notice. Yeah, sent a penalty notice. It's still going on now. So... We've actually just given a lady some money because she didn't have a card with her and she's got no cash. Yeah. She's actually been in the car park for a little while already, so we've just advised her to get out of here before the two hours' time. Yeah, that's that seems to be the problem. Is A lot of people, they come, um, they get into a parking space, take your keys out, you get out. If they're going on a walk, they then you know, get into the walking gear, the walking shoes, get the rucksack ready. Then people go over and they buy a ticket, don't they? Yeah. So we got here at 2.37. But on the machine, when I went to go and pay, it was 2.40. So there's already a discrepancy of two, three minutes. We have seen plenty of people being sent tickets for how many minutes over? Four minutes. So that is one way that they're basically calling you, ripping you off and stealing money out of your pocket because... It's a £100 fine. Which is reduced which... to 60 if you pay it. What a nice thing of them yeah, to do. Yeah, 28 days. Down to... Yeah. 60 pounds i mean you're saving yourself 40 pounds there yeah, something like all you that. wanted to do was take take your dogs out for a walk or bring the family for a walk whatever it is that you wanted to do while you're on this car park because it joke. is surrounded by beautiful countryside yeah and we are going to have a little bit of a walk around and we'll show you some of the views and we'll show you you know there is other car parks but this car park is Naughty. notorious Naughty. yeah and it's it's not even camper vans it's everybody if you're in a vehicle of any description with a number plate on it then the minute you get into this car park that's it there are signs up and around the car park giving you information about the terms and conditions of the parking hang and on how small is the writing on these signs very i've just had to zoom in to go and see it but there is another sign it says you can buy additional parking from when you've parked and things like that now i've just overheard a lady speaking over there at the machines saying that there's no option for her to add on extra time this has also been a problem online as well when you see some of the posts that people have got back to the car and thought i'm you know i've got plenty of time a little, bit, a little bit over yeah i'm a bit over i'll pay some more there is no option um so if there's no option people just tend to leave thinking well there's well, not paid yeah i've not much i can do that's where you get stuck yeah and then a couple of weeks later bang you gotta find yes. in the post and people have tried to appeal it so they've gone they've come to the company to try and appeal it and some people have had really really rude responses saying you chose to be four minutes over your time you chose to put the wrong reg in by one digit not our fault 
So then they've gone through another type of appeal claims and again, been denied. So you're just gonna get ripped off. This is why we've come down here. We thought we'd have a little look and let people know about it. Because it is a total scam and it really is a total scam. But let's have a little of a walk around. We've made some, well, I've made some signs. So if the company who owns this car park, which we do have the name of, by the way, and we will tell you the name of the company who, um... No, no, the land is privately owned. Right. But it's contracted out to a company. Okay, so, but the company who run the car park, we will give you the name in a minute. We've printed some signs, which Neil has um, laminated. So I'm gonna go round and I'm gonna put these on whatever posts I can find. We've got some bigger ones like this and we've got, we've got some smaller ones, so. Don't know how long they'll last. Probably be taken down off the AMPR camera. You'll see us, <laughs> spy net. Mm. Right. Let's have a bit of a walk around this area and um, see what's going on. Right, so there is some nice walks that you can do around the Rydal Water and Grasmere as well. Um, it's a nice place. It is a place of natural outstanding beauty and spoiled a little bit by... Even the drive up here, there was some stunning views, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, and it's just... It's spoiled by unscrupulous companies just wanting to rip, rip people, people off. off. Yeah. As you can see, this place is stunning, isn't it? I know there's some caves around this area as well. Like you can go into and stuff. We've never been here before. The only reason we did come here was... Because we'd heard about the car park. And we wanted you to know about the car park as well. We've been walking for about 15 minutes, quite slowly at a nice leisurely pace. Come to a little signpost. Now you can either head on that way to Ambleside or you can go up. About half a mile that way is the caves. So, Rydal Caves. Which way do you want to go? We want to get that fine, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. go one way and we'll take you with us. You won't climb up the pyramid. No, because I've already fell over on the flat floor. The flat floor? Yeah, the flat floor. She just fought upstairs as well, by the way. <laughs> I do fall up the stairs a lot. Trip over my own feet. But look at that view. When you think of the Lake Districts, this is what you think of, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, Lake District, not districts. <laughs> do I, I don't want the comment section being, you know, triggered off. What a place. Apparently you can download an app from the website uh, which will enable you to buy extra time on your parking. If you're going to ask people to pay for more parking, it should be ready available on the machines. Our two hours is officially up in one minute's time we need to go so we need to go out this car park within the next minute and we won't get a fine hopefully we won't get a fine neil you keep on talking I let's know. go we've got let's a minute go. we haven't well now is the time <laughs> right let's get out and then we'll carry on talking emma seen on facebook yesterday and then we literally went up there today to, to do a video and basically let you know what's going on because to me um, it's naughty and we spoke to a couple of other people as well and they've seen a lot online so there's quite a lot online about it but no one's actually spoke about it as far as we know so no. for us just to let you know about it isn't it since 2015 there seems to be only one machine working yeah 
So, so it's not it's not a new issue. So no, that's an ongoing issue. So so if you're queuing, say if you're in a queue for ten minutes, because there was a lot of people when we were there. Yeah. If you're in a queue for ten minutes. That's actually technically adding on to the time yeah, you, that you haven't got a ticket for. You don't know. So if you pulled in a half past and you didn't get your ticket till quarter two, thinking you've got two hours from quarter two, you actually haven't. You've got two hours from half past. Now, yes, there are signs in the car park which say that you have to buy your ticket prior to going in to the car going park. In. Which... But there's no signs before the car park to tell no. you that. And the car park is on a main road you literally pull off the main road directly into the car park there's nowhere for you to actually stop no you can't like pull over go in i mean also who does that who pulls outside a car park goes in reads the terms and conditions that to me is just takes a while to read the terms and conditions anyway yeah that to me is just basically a ploy to con you yeah. It is. So the people who run that car park... Naughty. Very naughty. Very, very naughty. naughty. So if you are going to Ambleside and you are going to that area, do not stay in that car park. There's other car parks around. and um, we seen one was a little ice cream machine, didn't we? Ice cream van. Ice cream van. It was the quirkiest looking little ice cream van. It was lovely. Yeah. So but yeah, just a heads up, guys. Be very, very careful if you do plan on going there. And maybe, if you do want to go and use those facilities, download the app beforehand. Yeah. Or, I don't know. I mean, you can't. <laughs> you physically can't go and buy a ticket before you go in. It's just I know, ridiculous. But that's, that's on the terms and conditions. Yeah. How does that even work? No, it doesn't. But, one bonus, and um, we found that the fuel prices in the Lake District <laughs> cheaper is than cheaper here. than Liverpool. <laughs> so that's a win. Also, another win, we've got some rock for Mr. Paul. Because Mr. Paul loves rock. Leave us a comment. If you've been con there, let us know. Let us know, yeah. Yeah. Because everyone who's tried to appeal it, as far as I know, no one's been able to no. get away with it. So, let Bloody us know. Bloody big con. Naughty. Naughty. Why should we go now? Yeah. It was a long day, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice walk for the dogs, though. Lovely, yeah. I just wish we could have gone got up to the caves. I know. Never had time. Didn't have time. No. Right. Let's go and get some food. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Should enjoy.